Hi, I'm Mrs. Myrna with FCSS. Today I thought I'd talk about some feelings or emotions. Do you ever get feeling sad? You want to cry? It's okay to cry. Do you get scared or nervous? Oh, or maybe a little bit shy? Mm. You don't know what you're feeling? Sometimes we just get confused and we don't know where our head is. We don't know how we're feeling. When we get um, our different emotions and our different feelings, it's, no, it's okay to go talk to somebody. Talk to mom or talk to dad or give grandma a call. Let somebody know how we're feeling. I thought I'd do a couple songs today. So, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're mad and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're sad, if you're scared and you know it, get a hug. If you're scared and you know it, get a hug. If you're scared and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're scared and you know it, get a hug. And if you're sad and you know it, cry a tear. <laughs> if you're sad and you know it, cry a tear. <laughs> if you're sad and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're sad and you know it, cry a tear. <laughs> but if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Did you know our faces show us lots of different things? Yeah. You can usually look at somebody else and go, Mmm, I bet they're a little bit scared. Ooh, they look like they're very excited about something. Our faces tell us lots of things. That person is happy. They don't stop smiling. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sometimes on my face you'll see how I feel inside of me. A frown, a, a smile means happy, a frown means sad. And when I grit my teeth, I'm mad. <clears throat> but when I'm shy, my head hangs low. When I'm proud, I beam and glow. <sighs> awesome. All right, I have a story to read. This one is called Bear Feels Scared. It's by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. Mm -hmm. See, Bear feels scared. Okay, let's see if you can see it. In the deep dark woods by the Strawberry Vale, a big bear lumbers down a small crooked trail. Bear's tummy growls as he looks for a snack, but it's cold, 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 so the bear turns back. He is not home yet when the sun starts to set, and the bear feels scared. <gasps> oh, look at that one. There's the bear. And bear shakes and he shivers. As a storm starts to howl, Bear mutters, What is that? Are the spooks on the prowl? Ooh. The path gets dimmer and the sky grows gray. Bear looks to and fro, but he can't find his way. He huddles by a tree and he wails, Poor me! And the bear feels scared. Meanwhile, back in the warm, cozy lair, friends start to worry for their poor, lost bear. Oh, look, there's a bear. 
It is late, Mouse squeaks, and our bear doesn't roam. There's a storm, cries Hare. Shouldn't bear be home? Oh, they're all working about him. Wren tw tweets from his perch. We all must go. We must all go search. What if Bear feels scared? The friends bundle up and begin to prepare. They form a search party for their lost friend, Bear. But Bear is all alone and he sheds big tears. There's a noise in the forest and he feels big fears. Bear trembles in the wind, how he longs for a friend, and the bear feels scared. Badger lights a lamp and he shouts, let's go. All the birds search high while the rest search low. With a flounce and a flutter, they set off together. They trudge down the trail through the wild, wet weather. They call, ho oh, bear, are you there, are you there? And the bear feels scared. Oh, they were looking for him. But he perks up his ears. Is that mole calling out? And is that hare's voice? Does bear hear him shout? Wren, owl, and raven all squawk through from the sky. It is bear, he is there. And they sigh big sighs. By a tree waits bear ten feet from his lair, and the bear looks scared. That's just what I was saying. You can tell when somebody's feeling. With a flap and flurry, all the friends gather near. They give him bear hugs. They calm his bear fears. Later in the night, all clustered in a heap, the bear spins stories while his friends fall asleep. Cuddled up tight, they snore through the night, and the bear feels safe. There you go. So if you ever feel scared, go and talk to a grown-up, or even a a brother or a sister, or call a grandma or a grandpa. Talk to somebody when you feel scared. They can help you. They can help to calm your fears. Okay, if you want to see other videos or look for some support, um, check out fcss.ca. We'll talk to you later. Bye.